or what he's doing that's pushing you. I mean, it sounds like it's just an excuse. We already know why you watch Paternity Court. It's for the wholesome family values, right? The strong moral characters and the calm, soothing episodes. Wrong. If you're addicted to the drama like us and can't look away from the craziness, look no further than this video right here. Before we dive in, like this video and don't forget to subscribe to Plot Twist. Mr. Morris, you're here because you say certain facts have come to light that make you believe that you fathered one of Miss Thorpe's twins and not the other. When this clown came around, it's not because the circus was in town. Apparently, he slept with one woman who had twins, and he claims only one of the twins is his child. The mother claims this is ridiculous and that both the twins are his. We kind of agree, but let's hear this idiot out. He posted all over social media and told everybody that the DNA test came back and that the kids were not his. Did okay. you also post, Mr. Morris, that you didn't do the test properly? Not even a full minute into this court case, Judge Lauren is showing no mercy on him. Go off, queen, as you should. What kind of relationship do you have with the twins now? Great. They call you daddy? No, they call me Uncle Twan. Boy, you about crazy. You just got too much going on. You done gone through all this only for the children and now call you Uncle Twan? They asked was Twan their dad, but I told him, I told him no. This is a mess. You all should be ashamed. But tables turn and she gets mad at both of them when she discovers the twins named Paris and London call him Uncle Town rather than dad. To be four years old and have to sit up and ask two grown adults is somebody my daddy. Baby's got more sense than the mama and the daddy. Would you look at these two girls and you say you know for certain Mr. Morris is their biological father, why would you tell them no? Do you know for certain if Mr. Morris is your twin's biological father? No, Your Honor. There. What's that one where the music play and you just be running around? Musical chairs. Musical chairs. That's what it feels like. Like you all just running around and then when the music stop, y'all just jump to a conclusion at work. She calls their paternity case a game of musical chairs and blasts them for making such a mess of their kids' lives. It's moments like these where we kick back, put our feet up, and indulge in her teaching these people a lesson. You have multiple reasons to doubt when it comes to whether or not you are the biological father of this child and hope today is your last visit to this courtroom. This Miss Austin may look familiar to you. She has been on paternity court officially three times and clearly can't seem to get her life sorted out. Previously, she was here because he questioned the paternity of one of her children, and now they're back with another. I love my kids dearly, but I shouldn't have You just married. don't love their mothers. Correct. Last time around, she was furious with Mr. Wallace and scolded him for not giving any love or respect to the mothers of his many, many children. He's also a repeat paternity court offender, and he has made dozens of appearances on shows like Paternity Court, Jerry Springer, and Mari. Drop a comment if you've seen him before. We're trying to get a running tally of just how irresponsible this guy is. He's Sit here he and is. put on a no, show, but... No, that's not a show. Everybody you stop knows having that. other men Everybody, who wouldn't have this problem. Everyone knows that. Miss Austin, for the life of me, I, I don't... I love this young man because I've invested so much time in him, but I don't know why y'all want to be with him so bad? How is he getting all these women pregnant but still has the nerve to call them promiscuous? Because she's pregnant now and the baby could potentially be yours? Yes. Because last time I talked to you on the phone, you know I called you one day. You had your kids. You sound like you were on the right track. When people ask me some of the cases that mean the most to me, you're one of the people. And so I have to say before I even start today, I'm so mad you all back up in here. Judge Lauren went full mom mode on him, telling him how she used to tell people how proud she was of him. But now he's back and she's sickened by him. Honestly, it's something he truly needs to hear. Ronielle, don't walk out again. You can stand up here. Don't do do, do not repeat the same mistake yeah, as last time. Mr. Wallace! You sitting up here, you taking her Come that! Come on! You, like, you ain't even let me get a word in! Stand up! Jerome, just give him a minute. Give him a minute. Judge Lauren ends the episode yelling at him to gain his composure as he threatens to knock a bun off the plaintiff's head and even directs his anger towards the judge herself like the fool that she clearly is. You claim your girlfriend, Ms. Troutman, left you for another man shortly after she announced she was pregnant. Now you claim there's a distinct possibility that you're not the father of her newborn baby, Deja. 
Tony's girlfriend left him for another man and had a two week affair with some new boyfriend. When the hot and heavy fling was over, she came back home and started shacking up with Tony again. I got tired of the arguments between him and his mom. My kids are hearing all of this to where my daughter's saying to shut up and all this extra stuff. You were so disgusted by that. that I, you I ran left. out the house and slipped look, on a banana peel and no, landed in the bed with somebody no, else. I called, no, I called, no. She claimed she got tired of the fighting and arguing, but Judge Lauren isn't too sympathetic and insists she must have slipped, fallen, and ended up accidentally in another man's bed. Now, who put that banana peel on the ground? You claim the defendant, Mr. Carbajal, allegedly perpetuated a DNA testing scam to try to deny paternity of your kids. Now, Mr. Carbajal, you say the plaintiff has left your life in ruins yes. by fraudulently claiming you are the father of her children. Miss Lopez came to court because her so-called baby daddy did a paternity test scam to try and disprove he is not the father of her children. Sounds like we're off to a good start with this one. The father claims the mother left his life in ruins by accusing him of paternity for decades. Miss Lopez, you sent him a picture? I sent him a picture of someone else a holding a child that you said was his? Um, I sent it because to show him that there would be another man. Judge Lauren wastes no time cutting through the BS. It's what we love about her, honestly. We have the results now from a laboratory conducted DNA test, and you sitting up there still arguing about a home DNA test. Now I know you all don't have no sense. You're just looking for something to say. What you need to be talking about is that lie you told saying you weren't sleeping with nobody else but yeah. suddenly on the relevant yeah. subjects we're silent now put put your hand down and look at me you don't get to go into boo boo cry mode you're learning a valuable okay, lesson right now mr carbajal quiet now that we got the paternity test results judge lauren blasts the mother of the child for coming to the court just looking for a fight she tells the baby's mother not to go into boo-boo cry mode and yells for the defendant to be quiet. It's like paternity court poetry. Miss Sism, you and your teenage daughter, Destiny, are here to prove that Anthony Taylor is the father of your daughter's eight-month-old son, Osiris. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. This case is all-in-one of the craziest we have ever seen on this show. All I know is if Judge Lauren ever yelled at me like this, I'd be crying in the fetal position for a week straight. She she was coming over here lying, conniving, saying, I have a 14-year-old daughter at home. She was sneaking over there, hollering out, she was coming over there to see my daughter. The daughter was sneaking around Anthony's house, pretending to hang out with their younger sister, but really was sleeping with Anthony. Both moms are to blame for this, but both moms are interested in placing the blame on the other. Even just two minutes into the case, Judge Lauren is banging the gavel, desperately trying to get order at the courtroom. Destiny was gonna say, I'm going over to visit my friend. That's, That's your daughter but really the whole time she, she like having that. sex with your son yes. that's both of them the reason why we're here is to get down to the bottom of if this child is really your grandchild seriously her passion is pretty terrifying but we respect it when she slams her hand down on the podium whew, if i ever cross this woman lord knows i'll be on my best behavior you think your daughter's a virgin she was a virgin when she met anthony therefore yes it's anthony's baby that's what we're here for to get this it's not my grandbaby okay Hey, you ain't, don't claim them. You ain't claim them in eight months. You're saying your daughter had big dreams for her life. Yes, she did. Dreams to do what? My daughter is a senior this year. She was going to college to be a pediatrician and a lawyer. Now she cannot do that because she has Osiris. Oh, like my son didn't have dreams. dreams. It's always sad when the kids act more like adults than the adults do. This mom claims that her daughter was going to college to be both a pediatrician and a lawyer, which is probably the beginning of a ridiculous lies in this case. I mean, imagine thinking thinking that you could do a decade of med school and law school when you don't even know who the father of your child is. So basically, right up under your nose, they plotted this plot, pulled it off, and now we're all here. Yep, and sometimes right. that's what kids do. With all the phone and cell phone having we got, it ain't never a day in this world your daughter should be able to tell you spend a night over a friend's house. What friend? Who's the mother? Where's the number? I'm calling. Yes. If only she could have had this conversation with them a few years ago, and none of us would be in this situation. What do you think was the craziest moment in today's video? Drop a comment and let us know. And don't forget to subscribe to Plot Twist.